Hi, in this slide uh, I want to carry on about the idea of tracking our plays or scripts uh, uh, that we come up with um, so that we can monitor our delta PBIT, the increased profit from development and supply chain selling or improvement because of smart pricing. Um, you know, there was a, a Inc. magazine popularized a concept called open book management back in the early 90s that really didn't go anywhere because it turns like it turns out that open book management, like a lot of business practices, is just a practice. It isn't uh, a specific strategy that makes brilliant sense for a given distribution uh, location, uh, nor is it provide us with any new net profit insights. Uh, it just you know, if you look at financial numbers, it just basically says, golly, if we can make our employees work harder and pay them 10% less and buy a little lower and sell a little higher, gee, we could make a lot of money. Uh, so what we're really saying is let's just do what we're doing harder and cheaper with the same old belief system. And that's not going to give us any breakthrough uh, profit development opportunities. However, when we read Islands of Profit and we do cost to serve analysis and realize that there are huge cross subsidies that exist in our business. We don't, those are symptoms. We don't know the root root causes, but it begs that we have a new everyday reporting system that complements, supplements, parallels our top down financial reporting, which we need to have to pay our taxes and, you know, audit, you know, get audits for banks and so forth. But with the, the line item profit analytics, when we can find out insights about our, our core customers, and that gives us plays with big upside opportunities. Then, then we say, well, all right, with this new math and these new insights, we need to do some new education and, and some reskilling. You know, we're going to have to change what we're doing, which means that, you know, we're going to have to ride without training wheels or something's a little bit different here. Is snowboarding is not the same as downhill skiing, for example, although they're sort of somewhat related. Um, so we're going to have to do lots of training. And all along, we're going to have to say, well, you know, what's in it for me? And say, well, actually for you and the company and all share, all stakeholders, we can actually get quite a bit of upside profit development. So certainly short term and for the first, next year or two, the Delta PBITs could be quite large, which will give us, you know, gain sharing bonuses, which gets everybody excited and gives us sort of jump starts, uh, a high performance service culture possibility that we could do. So the logical conclusion in the journey, the LIPA journey, is eventually to say, you know what, we're going to go open book management because we have so many upside Delta PBIT opportunities for which we need everybody to be part of the solution and gain sharing would be a logical way to put everybody in the same boat and get everybody pulling together. So that's kind of uh, the the end conclusion of the journey where from uh, that starts off with with line item profit analytics. Thank you.